right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> my apologies, I kind of caught uh, Chris here by surprise with that one, but we are actually doing this grand final. It is the best of one just due to some uh, timing issues, players having to go to work and such. And so the default one has been given over to GUSA, but out of respect for the competitive nature of CS, we are playing this on Vertigo, a single best of one, starting it off with the knife round. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I've been enjoying Vertigo more and more lately as I've been stuck on it more and more. Yeah, it's a map that grows on you, I suppose. Like, I think we all remember when it quite literally used, it used to be worse than Mook, where it quite literally could easily be 15 over side and you still somehow end up tied up 15 at the end of the game. But it's grown on us, I think, for it most of us. So has. It's... And plus, Valve has actually put some pretty good time in developing it out. Like, obviously, you no longer have that god-awful elevator drop anymore. Oh, yeah, that, and... that was terrible. Yeah. And it's just made it a lot more competitive, especially with uh, swapping around the uh, star points. But anyways, good start here for Why You're Crying. One, two, three, and four. All in to the bag. The real goat, not sure who that is, but probably Russian, so... We need to make sure that uh, Azio is right on his behind, as Danger will eventually kill him, and uh, that'll be why you're crying, taking out the opener. Oh, by the way, if we reference it, the Azio's RCIA. Wait, who, what? Don't you see the Russian flag? Yes. But, so we need to put Azio, Azio on him, and Azio's RCIA, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just kind of watching the game at this point. <laughs> and Understand. Well, I mean, this is, is this is an odd situation to be in. Like, it really is. Normally, this is just a straight forfeit. We say, yes, yeah, this is happening. We say, that's unfortunate. It's our good nights. But you don't really get to see the BR ones in these cases, as uh, Donker just comes in for line, gets a kill, and well, why are you crying? They're just gonna get some free frags. It feels like. They are really just just playing this map for fun. So we might see a lot of puggy stuff, like a JHD kind of hiding out in the corner here. Hmm. There are many opportunities where he could have swung earlier to help out his team, but kind of just stuck back, played the long game, which ends up working out for him, really, as he's left in the 1v2, has a smoke, two flashbangs, and the armor. And against the AK, it's... The head armor wouldn't really do much for him anyways, but this MAC-10 could be able to find that one bullet in the head. And with the way Badonk is flying, he just flies around. Ends up closing it out there, and why are you crying? Taking that 2-0 lead at this point. Yep, 2-0 lead up in the bag. GRUSA now sort of stuck in... No man's saying so to speak. A bit of armor, a few pistols, but not much else to work with here, so be a nice little round for Wire Crying. Although, as we saw in our last series, uh, very susceptible they are to being eco, though Danger doesn't want that happening this time around. Danny G, though, ooh, my sharp shot there, but needs to find another one. Won't be able to. JSG will be able to get the trade, but next up, we'll do some cleanup work, all up to frags. He's a mad fragger, but he ain't doing it right now. That's why I'm Crying, we picked up three. I mean, this just looks like the Rush A simulator. <laughs> Ver Vertigo, throughout its history, in its modern times, has had some, uh, for a while it was the Rush B simulator. <laughs> and now it's the Rush A simulator. Then they changed the stairs around. Because after it was the Rush B simulator, it was the Rush Mid simulator, because T's had such an advantage there. You know who else has an advantage? Badonka. He's picked with, up three. Yeah. With a MAC-10 as well, so uh, he is paid for that and then some. As... And now it's become the Rush A simulator. Yeah. And well, it's working out well for Badonka until he's eventually taking him down. Danger, last person I seen in the 1v1. Real goat though, he's gonna go for the play. But he's been spotted out, can't land the shot. That's very easy for Danger. Has 4 0 up quickly for Y Cry. And that's really the recent 
story you see a lot on Vertigo is a quick lead on that T side, absolutely shutting down that A site because it it is a little bit easier to take that A site as a T than it is for a CT to hold it. It is uh, probably one of the downsides, I suppose, on the map, but uh, obviously Valve just trying to fix it up as best they can, and they've done a good job of it as. Yeah, once again, get another eco. We'll see the real good last player left standing here. Maybe his teammates just a little bit trying to get those extra frags, but will not pay off for him this time around. As only playing around why he crying, only a little few points of arm damage lost or arm health lost, and uh, only why he crying 5 0 up and versus just said uh, he's just put in a chat baiting with question marks. So uh, I'm not the only one thinking about it. I mean, they are just. Really just playing this almost for fun at this point. Mm. I wonder if they're looking at it more like a scrim rather than an official match. I think more hard to be honest. With the way. Yeah, more just having oh, fun boy. with like the kid. Finding himself too quick on that spray down. And Danny G now answering back. It's gonna be equal. Well, look to at pull Ecole. back! He Three gets a triple! Him. And just like that, the real good last play left sitting once again. The Master Vader is going to get at least one frag, but he's taken down to 19 HP. So, quite a lot he can do here. At least it's an all be off. So, one minute shot and could be all over. Molotov's a plane coming out from Versa. Trying to find the wall bang, but the real go, the baiting has finally paid off. He gets the final two, and he will get the first round for GR USA. Not Kind of what you have to do on Vertigo is rely on one player in those clutch situations on that A-bomb site. Danger... We're six rounds in. Start of round seven. Danger has 11 kills. And only one death. Has you ever heard of Oh, he uh... nearly got baited out. Nearly, nearly got baited out, but uh, somehow gets a frag in time. That's Danny G. Unable to get the kill as well, so Versa, the man who just lives, will do a lot of work. Won't be the last way left standing around this time around for the real goat, as JG will die last, and why are you crying just like that? We've got six, and we might be seeing another Brazil. Goodness. Once again, while we are here, I want to thank Landslide once again for having us uh, broadcast their tournament for them. Both myself and Chris. Very grateful to be here. It's always a great time. Casting Australian CS, you never know what to expect. It's always... Australian CS is always Ooh, a good time. Not it is as well. Look who's alive once again. But he's not hurrying around the... Uh, a little bit of vertigo that was added over the past few months. He's going to be on the other side. Close to the edge, he'll be taken down, and there we go, the Brazil has been secured. I love a good Brazil, not gonna lie. I see it, like, I want to see Brazil's called out so a lot more often in Counter-Strike. Like, we call it out in Rocket League, whenever it happens, it's always a momentous occasion, you know? Yes. It's either sheer domination or, my favorite one, a team just 7-0, and then they just give up the last kickoff goal just to get the score. It's always a beautiful sight, but you don't get to see it that much in a Counter-Strike, and that always makes me a little bit sad as, well, Badonka, once again, he's paid off that max end. Quick smart, Krags will be able to hit the kill here. Double up setup has not worked out for GI USA to say the least. Ego gets the final kill for the smoke, and why are you crying? Dead set, low flying at the moment, they're 8-1. They're just firing on all cylinders right now. They are holding W, not stopping for anything in their way. Just, is this just how Vertigo goes sometimes? And it's been an interesting map to watch in recent months. Danny G on the edge of the smoke, only good for one though, as he's traded out by Danger and right up the ramp, right behind oh. these players. The goat though, he's been a bit of an interesting spot, the kid, we'll be able to find one. Goat as well, so this is actually doable, Bomber's been given over and they've picked up an AK, so every chance, the goat is gonna 
rotate himself along over, but he's lost his teammate. He gets a double spray down, however, and once again, last way left sand, he gets the final two, and will pick up a second for his team. So it might be the beta, but he's getting the rounds. That's the important thing. But not enough of them. He can't quite clutch as yeah. much as he's left in those 1vx situations. And really, if you're in those situations that much, you would be hoping that it's a player that can clutch them a lot more consistently than he is at this point. Ooh. Oh! What a, what a okay. shot! Okay! Now he's awake. Two. Now we see what he can really do. Yep, yeah, as a uh, dang G's all, getting a few frags there. First, uh, should be the last player left alive here. Could be taken down quite quickly, you would think. As uh, they play Tasty Dave, will eventually take down by JHD, and that'll be the third round for GR USA. Uh, I've actually got a question for you, Flippy. What's up? What is uh, J What is JHD uh, drinking in his uh, profile picture? No, I'm not quite sure. Quite sure to I want to know. I, I think that's a Pepsi can, to be honest. Pepsi Max can. Definitely like, could be. I need to enhance this. Give me a moment. Very well. I cannot pull up the uh, Steam browser at the moment. So I cannot provide any further research at this point in time. And Nexar, oh, only thing so. he's providing is frags now as he's picked up Ooh. three in the round. Danny G left now in the one versus three. AK, yeah, a lot cool. of utility on his belt as well. Actually quite doable for him. He can find this first one and he will through the edge of the wall. But no, it's going to be the second. double peek out from Versa and Badanka to take down Danny G. Why are you crying? Picking up their ninth thus far. What a fast game it has been. Once again, now yep. we're seeing the real goat heading over towards the B site once again and at this point, you gotta wonder why he's still going over there. They've pushed A every round. It's been a holding W rush A. Well, I suppose he just wanted me on the safe side as, uh, well, Badonka gets a nice There's little double first as well. Getting no train, it's just like that. All up to the beta once again. Real go. Last player left standing. He's just gonna make his way slowly over towards the entry of the A side, but will eventually take down my danger. And just like that, to up to double digits wire crying. And uh, I can also confirm that is a uh, Pepsi Max can there for JHC. So uh, at least he's not drinking anything uh, bad. Answering the important questions around here. Indeed. That's what we have to do here on broadcast. <laughs> Figure oh, out what go. it They're is someone's be drinking. Wait, oh, what? B for once. Wait, oh, what? The 5,000 IQ play. That's an open B site. <laughs> they said oh. Ecole all alone. And I bet the oh, real goat is... is eating his shoe right now. It's... He gets one kill at least. He does. But yeah, that is very unfortunate for GR USA as the rest of the boys at by crying, making their way back on over, the real go, able to get one through the side, and just like that, actually we'll have to Madonka, 1v2 here, so v play might not have paid off for him here, we'll go, and Danny G, go for the play, but he's still in the smoke, oh god, what a play he gets a free execution, and just like that, it's all up to the real go, somehow the last player alive once again, but it doesn't have enough time, no kit, no clue, why are you crying, up 11. I almost expected Danny G to just hurl himself off the edge there as well, knowing that he would survive because it takes a couple seconds to fall. And we're already at the end of the first half here. Yep. Just like that, 11 to 3. It's been a very quick first half, so. Yeah, this is, uh. It's yeah, been something. Sort of been... Yeah. It's been good. It feels a bit like a pug, to be honest. With the uh, face we're seeing as oh no, cracks has just blocked the uh, goat smoke there. As Danny G will get the open up, but not looking too good for Paradox Light as they do get a two feather just like that. Danny, oh Danny G, danger. Last player left standing here. We'll go. We'll be able to get the flick up, and that'll be four to eleven at the half. Did a lot on Vertigo with these crazy one-sided halves, but then the and other halves, yeah, it'll be the exact same. Just one team 
Usually T side will just completely dominate. So we could very oh, easily me. see GI USA put their foot down and say, this is it. We're done. We already won the tournament, so now we're going to win this map too. Indeed, as. Well, we've got plenty of rounds to try and come back, but for the moment, why are you crying? The team who has technically forfeited the uh, finals away here. Well, maybe the lead here, so they're looking for some pride. Obviously, they couldn't play out the full series, but alas, we do. Timings can always be a pain in the backside as. We'll be next to getting the opening frag here. Goat will eventually get the kill as Mercer will even it's out into a 3v3. Bob has not been planted just yet as we wait for Danger or the Goat to get the next frag. Could even be Versa as well, but where is the last player? No, there's actually only one player now left standing here. That being Danger, Danny G goes full ham, gets the final two frags, and they'll be GI USA picking up the first and the second. They are going straight up for the rifles. The Mac-10 over on Crags as well. You might see him pull a Badonka and just hold W with that thing. Go straight up in it. It does appear the JHD has gone AFK. Nope, he has come back. He has returned. Yeah. Maybe he's just playing the uh, slow play, making sure it's at least we can play over towards B as the kid will get next up. Things off. And, well... Tracks is coming out left, right, center here, but just looking out for why you're crying. Things are really full, Crags only on one HP, will be eventually taken down, just like that's a lot of JHD over towards Bridge, but gee, he has to make a quick run for it, and he could easily get flanked out by good old Badonka, so looking too good for him at the moment, but he will make rotation over. Might even get the one plan out here as well, but Badonka just waits for the place, made his way behind Ebox. Get the crowd as well. So, why are you crying? Four away from victory here. Yes, four away from just a, a fun map. Yep. Nexar has the other shotty now. He does. Hmm. hmm. I, I actually rate, to be honest, I actually rate uh, shotties on Vertigo. Like, it's a map where you get a lot of close quarter combat, so it, it is. actually it's makes not... sense to get the shotty out. Yep, it's not. And the look, worst here we idea. go. But it's not, just not worked out there. So unfortunate as we do see a uh, unconnected trade happening there. Now into a 4v4. But the kid now picks it up and he'll make good use of it. Takes out the Donker. That's the B-side open. But Versa able to get one kill here. So rotations are now clear for him. But we'll be a bit too late to stop the plant. Uh, he got very low here. But can always just get the frag off in time. Although he's been easily spotted out by... The kid over toward oranges, danger. Just flying in now. So many of his opponents so low, but the auto shot he does work. But a quick trade out from Versa there brings it into a 1v1. Spots out JHC, he does it through the wall for good measure. And why are you crying? Stomping on their opponents at the moment. Only three away now. This map has flown by. Why can't all Counter Strike be this fast? Yeah, like most Counter Strike games, he just. Like, the first game of the night, that did drag on a little bit. That was, uh, yes. you gotta admit, that was a that... slightly long one, but this one is just zoomed by. It's quite literally, you're looking at, like, it's sort of like this in Micra, and then here, we're into a, a V8 supercar. Yep, pretty much. It's, it's night and day differences. Oh, nice shot there coming out from the kid onto the head of Nexar. Awesome. Got two in the round and two v three retake now coming out for why are you crying and oh, oh no no danger danger oh danger he hate to see it fallen oh yep. boy D he, he tried the fancy jump. And yeah, he didn't respect the danger there, and well, he copped to death for it, so. Actually, there's a, yep, there is the fall sign in T-Spawn that has now updated to show that there has been one fatality on this work site. Well, well HR is not really happy about that as, uh... Danny G and the kid will find a few frags, uh, nice, possibly does a bit of damage, I want to get the frag, the kid. 
We'll get himself a nice little double and just like that to up to Bianca and Versa. That oh, that's a sharp little flick from Danny G though. Versa now stuck in a 1v3, has the AWP and will be double peaked, so can't do too much. We'll get one kill at the very least. But uh, GR USA slowly, slowly come back here. They close the gap down to five. Sorry, six. Math is hard, I understand. Yeah. Especially oh, this late in the day. For yeah. me, right, right now, my time zone, it is 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh. I woke up at 5.45 yesterday. So I'm Ow. almost, I'm almost, I've been, oh. pardon me, cragged, excuse me. You yeah, can't just, just flying no-scope people, that's rude. Oh, you don't understand how Krags play, that is. He, he literally just does whatever he, he wants and the rest, especially in Pugs, he just does whatever he wants and his teammate and his opponents just have to deal with it. That's how Krags plays, my dear friend. So as the kid will be able to take down Danger. Very low, as you are, you say, so there's every possible way to tell, but he only had a D1 Krags underneath. Can't do too much about that. Now on to a five round difference, as you are, you are say, slowly starts to bring it back. Slowly but surely and See what they can pull out. Um, next sorry. You have a negev. He is the king this map of pulling out the unconventional weapons. Let's see if he can make it work for himself as Danny G's gonna open it up with no. two and JHD gonna take him down. The negev, I wanted to see some magic happen. I'm pretty sure he didn't even fire a bullet on the negev. Like he might have shot like two, but it's done. It breaks my heart oh, really? to see such a beautiful weapon go to waste. I oh, know, it's very sad. They're to going see, for the knife. Anyways. Yeah, they're going to go for the knife, but Danger will deny it. So, gap closes the four. T side once again, showing why it is still very strong, despite all the changes that have been made. Uh, like, obviously, as we said, it's not as bad as it once used to be, where 14 ones, 15 0 halves, and then scores get flipped. Used to yep. be the uh, standard, but oh gee, it's still a very, very uh, odd map. As next up gets one kill, the uh, the uh, UMP, but can't find too much here. But Madonka, MP9, we know what happens. He gets at least one kill there. Danger finds a second, two v four now. Why are you crying? We got two v three. Danger able to find the uh, kill with the Deagle. Danger though, close out a crash. We'll just stop the play ever so slightly as well makes its way right up. Ram should be getting close to being planted. So from the moment 2v2, but danger just holding on at top here. It's gonna get the first frag. Puts the goat once again in a familiar position. 1v3. Last player left standing here. Those are quite low, so it should be easy to take down, I think. But danger does the work. Just like that. Why are you crying? Stops the bleeding. They're two away now, taking out this BL1. Now, if you could change one map in the map pool, what would it be and what would you replace it with? Mirage. But I actually don't know what map we would change it with because, like, I hate new cobblestone. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan either. But um, I wouldn't want them I'm, to bring, I'm, just bring back old cobble either because it's like, I that's almost, it's not stale anymore, but... It's, it's predictable. Yeah. Yeah, I would want I wouldn't want to see Cash either. Same kind of story. I would want uh, to see I'll... a brand new map. Like polish up sub zero. Oh yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Just like what why crying in, they pick up the map of plan match point with it. Uh also as an update, uh Crax has apparently won an 8k multi. He's just put that in the uh chat here, so uh he'll be happy tonight no matter what. He's picked up a monitor, and he's picked up 8,000 grand, so... Nice, good for him. Yeah, you know. So yes, the winnings, GIUSA, they are receiving five of the Cooler Master, Master Liquid, BL240R, RGB, all-in-one water coolers for their PCs, as well as five mice. The Cooler Master, Master Mouse, MM711. I'm honestly not familiar with that mouse, but from what I've seen, it looks like uh, one of the it looks good. more common ultralight mice, which me personally, never been a fan. I like my uh, heavy I'm... mice. 
Yeah, I'm the sort of guy who needs... Like, at the moment, because I've got two PCs, I need a mixture of both. Like, yeah. I've got a heavy one for my, uh... Like, uh, I like the light one for, like, when I'm working or when I'm just scrolling, but when I'm gaming, I just need that weight, you know? Anyways, uh, on to the final... Or what could possibly be the final round here. As we do see, we go taking down the Donker, JG. Losing a lot of damage, but still very doable here for JUSA. They still have the numbers advantage. JG just gets the bomb down in time. Versa trying to jump up. Will be the last man left standing, but Danny G is on a tear. Picks up a double. Keeps his team in the game. Five round difference, but they still need to try and make it into overtime. They definitely do, and even though they already won, they're still having fun playing great games of Counter-Strike. We will see what this possibly final round brings as it's the full M4 stack here for Why Are You Crying Eagle swinging straight out onto the ramp, actually a little bit of aggression, and Danny G punishing that as well. Finding himself a second it. as well. This is what yeah, we he's... like to see out of Danny G. Almost another one through the smoke. Oh, God, he's got so close, though. And he's got to get punished for not getting the kill. Versa gets revenge from the last round. Just like that. It's 3v3. And here comes Madonka. Gets one kill. But the GOAT will be able to take him down as Krags is just standing there for the moment. Not doing Krags too hanging much. out. Yeah. Hanging out, he's just probably mining his uh, sports bet account now, knowing that he's got AK in the pocket. We'll eventually start moving once again. Next, I guess, second to last frag. Versa finishes off. GG, well played. That will be the consolation victory going to Paradox Light. But, uh, that, but overall, it is still a victory for the uh, GI USA, as they obviously won by four pin. Also, a map we haven't talked about. Why not bring Italy? Why not lip the asides? So I don't, I don't know lie. if I, I could. Uh, I do too, but I don't feel like hostage is just a different game type than we're used to. So it to try and work that in, in in the current competitive scene would take a lot of work and a lot of convincing the player base. True, very true. I mean, as I said, like, I mean, it could be worse. It could be Office, which is another map that's just notorious for bomb-sided affairs, but, yes. uh, anyway, so that's beside the point, uh, Paradox Light, or whatever the hell you want to call them, uh, they've picked up that BO1, but they weren't able to obviously play out the BO3, so they've had to FF the rest of the game, so, JUSA, as we've said, are the victors. Alright, yep. I am just updating a couple things, and then we are going to be heading out once again Thank you to Capping TV for having myself and Chris here, as well as Landslide, for letting us work their tournament for them. It's been a blast out here, coming from NA, working Australian games. I always love working Australia. It's always a great time. But I guess for now, unless you've got anything else to say, that's probably going to be it for us. Just follow me on Twitter at Chris the Average. I need to get that self plug in. Yep, it is right under our faces. Our Twitters are right down there. Um, have a great night, everyone. Night, everyone. It's been a pleasure, and we'll be seeing y'all real soon. Have a good one.